This is Adam Martin with your Western District Fishing Report. Here at Kentucky and Barkley Lakes, water temps are around 49 degrees, and so far we've been holding steady at winter pool elevation. Crappie are still being caught in the 15 to 25 foot range, with most anglers targeting deep water brush piles. If you're wondering where to look for brush piles, we do have several hundred department-maintained brush piles on Kentucky and Barkley Lakes, which you can find by visiting our website and searching for lakes with fish attractors. We also have the waypoints available for download in a variety of file types to suit your particular depth finder brand. Bass are still being taken on chunk rock points and riprap banks. The A-Rig and the jerk bait are the go-to lures on Kentucky Lake, but if the coming rains get the water too muddy, a black and blue jig and a slower pace might be just what you need. The tail waters below Kentucky Dam are too elevated and the flows are too high for bank fishing, but it is possible for the moment to sneak out there in a boat and catch some nice catfish if you're feeling adventurous. Springtime is right around the corner, so go ahead and restring those rods and sharpen your hooks. As always, if you get out on the water, always remember to wear your life jackets and kill switches. Good luck. This is Jeremy Shifflett with a fishing update from the Northwest District. Rough River Lake is at Winter Pool. Water temperatures are in the upper 40s. Bass fishing has picked up a little bit lately. There are a few fish being caught 6 to 12 feet deep on crankbaits and jerkbaits. Crappie fishing has been fair. A few fish are being caught from 4 to 12 feet deep on structure using minnows and jigs. Numbers seem to be down, but size seems to be up. Some hybrid striped bass can be caught from Axtell to Laurel Branch. Try rattle traps, curly tail grubs, spoons, and 2 to 4 inch swim baits cast to windswept banks. Or fish live shad 3 to 10 feet deep near the creek mouths. Remember that live bait needs to be purchased from a licensed bait dealer or caught in the water body that you plan to use it. Please help us keep unwanted fish out of our lakes and don't move fish around. Nolan River Lake is 18 feet below summer pool and stable. Surface temperatures are in the upper 40s. Bass fishing has picked up here as well. Anglers are catching decent numbers with a few bigger fish mixed in. Fish seem to be 5 to 15 feet deep and hitting crankbaits and jerkbaits on main lake points and in the creeks. Crappie fishing is fair. Fish are 6 to 12 feet deep with most in the 10 to 12 foot range lately and they're hanging tight to structure on the upper end of the lake. Crappie magnet jigs and black chartreuse and pumpkin pie have been catching fish. Walleye are beginning to move upstream. Most fish are around the Bacon Creek arm and moving up river. So most fish start there and move up with the fish. Curly tail grubs, casting spoons, or one quarter ounce Erie Deeries are good options. At Lake Malone, fishing has been fair. A few bass are being caught on crawler colored crankbaits, and white or chartreuse cheddar baits three to six feet deep. A few crappie are coming off structure send to ten, six to ten feet deep with tube jigs. Crappie fishing is good in the lower sections of the Ohio River tributaries. Target woody structure with jigs and minnows in Wolf Creek, Town Creek, Bull Creek, and Clover Creek. Keep an eye out for invasive carp. They tend to congregate in the tribs during the winter and you can end up with some company in your boat. Trout were stocked recently in Finns Lakes in Owensboro, Madisonville, and Litchfield, as well as Lake Brittany in Sandy Watkins Park, Henderson County, and Morton's Lake on Higginson Henry WMA in Union County. There are also still trout being caught in Robs Lake, Access Lake, and Flycatcher Lake on Peabody WMA. White and silver, or black and gold inline spinners, and chartreuse and rainbow colored power bait have all been catching fish. Remember the daily limit is five trout per day in the Finns Lakes and eight fish per day in other lakes and streams. And also remember that Otter Creek is still catch and release. Good luck and stay safe. This is Caleb Bentley with the Kentucky Stocking Report. This week across Kentucky, we stocked brown trout and rainbow trout. Brown trout were stocked in Greenbow Lake and Fort Campbell. Rainbow trout were stocked in Fort Campbell Waverly Park Lake, Tom Wallace Park Lake, Cherokee Park Lake, Millennium Park Lake, Scott County Park Lake, Lake Mingo, Lusby Lake, Otter Creek ORA, and Floyd's Fork Creek. Good luck fishing and stay safe.